Hello there. Welcome to Stampin' by Hannah and to my YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to pop on with my face today uh, because today's video is quite special. Um, we are the... Today is the Pootler's video hop for the brand new annual catalogue. It's so good. It's so good. We're concentrating on the new colours today. So whether that be in colours or the new core colour collections. Um, so there's loads of inspiration. All the videos in the down bar below. So if you pop, watch this video. Give us a like, comment and subscribe. And then pop down into my, my description and there'll be loads of links um, to other um, videos you can watch. And I am making a card with the new in colours. <laughs> Thank you ever so much um, for sticking around and I hope to see you soon. Okay, so I have the five in colours today. Um, and the reason I'm using the in colours for today's blog hop, or video hop, is because I actually haven't got the new, the returning and new car colour collection quite yet. It's just not allowed, arrived in my craft room as I need to film this. So I thought I would look at the um, new in colours instead. There are five fabulous in colours and I have a swatched, well, I say swatched, I have a piece of cardstock for each one. What I did with the retiring list this year was um go through every single piece of my cardstock and cut a four by four square so that includes retiring so i've got a bit of a history of colors and there are colors i've got some sheets that i actually think might be really really old colors and i'm not sure that might be that might be blueberry bushel um because it was just in the bottom of my um card storage so I've got those and so I've cut a 4x4 square that'll go in here I just need to put it into my rainbow isn't it so pretty I love my rainbow um so <laughs> that's those so we're going to make a really easy card today using all five of the colours so that's boho blue which is such a pretty almost baby blue almost cornflower blue kind of colour gorgeous wild wheat now this color i looked at and i think on camera it doesn't look as nice in person it's like it's like a gold that's not metallic is the way i describe it it's very strange but beautiful copper clay which is our kind of orangey brown color uh pebbled path which is a beautiful gray i really like that and my absolute favorite which is moody mauve and what's funny is i've got a t-shirt on today it's almost exactly the same colour. <laughs> Moody Mauve is my is my colour. That's my that's my happy place. So they are the five colours. And I'm going to use all five colours today. What I have already gone ahead and done is cut um a strip of cardstock that is one and a half centimetres um by about a ten and a half. I just cut it off half a sheet of cardstock, and I have a piece of scrap piece of basic white, and I have the largest stitched circle from the um, stylish shapes dies. I love these dies. These are not new. These have been in the catalog for a few years, um, but I love them. Um, I just cannot do without them. So pleased they carried over. Um, so yeah, the largest one of those. So this is seven and a half by seven and a half, or just over, because this circle is seven and a half. Um, centimeters in diameter which is why these are a centimeter and a half because hopefully she says they should if my maths is correct if it's not i'm starting this video again um it's not right is it it's not right that's not oh oh let's see let's work it out we'll we'll make it work so i'm gonna take my Tombow glue. Now, this is glue I don't use very often. I am not a Tombow person. I am not. A, I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to like wet glue. Um, it's just not my thing. And I just, I, I like, I like sticking something somewhere and knowing it's not going to shift. And that's not what you get with wet glue. With wet glue, you get wiggle room. <laughs> that's not me. I, I, yeah, I'm just not a fan. But anyway, I'm trying. And I'm, I'm trying on like die cuts and things um trying to use a bit of wet glue the reason i'm using it here is because i need to get them like perfectly butted up against one another and so i do need that bit of wiggle room i could probably do with oh my rather dirty silicon sheet i love my silicon sheet it does get used a lot um quite often by my daughter actually when we're doing crafts 
um, and we need like the the hot glue gun and stuff, I, I pull out my stamp it up um, silicone sheet for. But um, I just, it's so handy. I mean, like it's got bits of wet hot glue on it and all sorts. Um, for like this, when I've like, I've put far too much wet glue on, it's gone over the edges. <laughs> It is. I I'm, I believe it's the catalog. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the catalog. It will be near the back. With probably the adhesives. So, I will do that just like so. So it's all stuck onto that, onto that sheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it off. Um, because otherwise the wet bits are going to drive me doolally. So I'm just going to just snip off those wet pieces on the ends. And there we have a very lovely little stripey um, piece. Then I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to pop that on. I'm going to run it through our uh, cut and emboss machine. Now, I'm hoping that this is going to work because I'm going to use the mini one. I know this works with the big one because I know that my big one has got enough pressure. I do not know if this is going to work with the little one. But we will find out. So, with the mini cut and emboss, it now comes in white and there are some boho blue ones. Uh, which were uh, celebration exclusive, but you can now buy a boho blue one as well. Um, which is this fabulous blue colour. It looks gorgeous. I just haven't... I've got one. I I've got a white one. I'm happy with my white one. But if you like, if you want a blue one, they are available. Um. So. Yeah, I don't think that's quite gonna get it right up to the edge. I might have to get some washi tape on this just to make sure that it stays exactly where I want it. Um. Because I need, if you can see, I'm gonna have to put that right up against the edge to get it to cut all of the layers. So. Pop a bit of washi tape on. Do you love a bit of washi tape for this? Um, can't die cut without washi tape. And this circle does fit through the mini machine. So I know that my big machine has got enough pressure to do this, to cut multiple pieces of cardstock. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. It might be a bit stiff. Oh, goodness, it's very stiff. Oh, but it's working. There we go. That's that. I'm going to run it back the other way just to make sure that goes much easier on the way back. <laughs> oh, right. And then if I turn it over, we'll see if it's gone all the way through. Ooh. Oh, it has. Look at that. Look, at that. it's fabulous. Right. So I move that out of my way. Oh, in the interest of keeping this video fairly short. Because, obviously, you've got several videos to watch today um, as part of the video hop. Um, I am going to probably jump off um, and do a couple of steps because I've already, actually, I've already gone ahead and I've already done the heat embossing bit. But I, I realised that I've not done my, my embossing. Oh, I've missed that little bit. That's okay. The sentiment will go there. Cover that up. <laughs> So I've got a piece of basic white and I'm going to emboss it with the the dotty embossing folder from the online essentials. I absolutely love this embossing folder. I would like this to be a permanent feature because um, it's just really pretty. So I'm going to go and do that and I'll be back. OK, so we have got our piece of basic white that's embossed. Now, this looks gorgeous this way and that way. The last card I made which I have already shared this week, so I can share it with you again. <laughs> Went up on my blog, I can't remember what day it was, um, was this card and I've used it here and I've put it kind of back side up. I'm gonna use it kind of dots up this time. Um, but yeah, I just love it, it's great. So we've got that, we've got that. And then I have used the Biggest Wish stamp set. Now this is another one that's carried over. Um, my pre-order this time was really small. Um, <laughs> And I haven't put an order in um, yet for like from the new catalogue as a whole, um, just for various reasons. Um, but yeah, so I haven't got lots of stuff from the new catalogue yet. It'll it'll all arrive in my craft room eventually. It's just not come yet. So I the only new stamps that I've got 
is Amy Zoo. I love this though, it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna use Bigger Swish. We're gonna use the Hello, and I've already gone ahead and heat embossed it in white onto basic black. What I have treated myself to though, is a new pair of snips. And this is funny, because we were in the team oh, a little while ago, somebody had made a comment about how their snips had gone they weren't as good as they used to be or, or something. And I was like, I've had my snips for eight years. There's nothing wrong with them. They're perfect. And then over the last sort of month, maybe, I've struggled to fussy cut with them. And I thought, oh, I'll get a new pair. Oh my goodness, they're like chalk and cheese. So I would recommend that um, you either keep them really sharp, get them sharp and get them clean, which I've got to admit, my old pair. I mean, they look exactly the same. Very little difference. Um, but yeah, they're not clean. And I think that's probably made the difference, to be honest. Um, but yeah. So, new pair of snips every couple of years, maybe. Because those ones are eight years old and they do still work. But yeah, just looks very funny. So we've got the Hello. We've got our lovely, um, all of our um, in colours. And then I've got a basic black card base. Just a piece of A4, scored and folded in half. Give it a good burnish. And then, just the case of doing this all together, I am going to pop, I think, some embellishments on. I haven't decided yet. We're going to see. We're going to see when it's all together. Um, I have filmed the intro for this video. I have not filmed. At the time of filming this bit, I haven't filmed that bit yet. So whatever I've said there... <laughs> Who knows? I don't even know what I'm going to say. But hey. Right, so I have this piece, I have cut a little bit shorter and a little bit narrower than I would normally. Um, just because I'm really enjoying that thicker border. Then I'm going to take some dimensionals and pop them on the back. Because I think this is a card that you can't have enough dimension on. Super simple. And it would be lovely. I mean, this is great for like... Maybe a guy birthday card, replace the hello with a happy birthday. I think it would look just as fabulous. And then the hello, just there. So we're going to cover up that boo-boo. Nobody will know. Nobody will know. Actually, I think that's a piece of adhesive sheet. It is. Gotta love a scrap. So I'm going to pop that on. If we take the backing off that, that would be useful, wouldn't it? There we go. There we are. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I'm just trying to think, because we've also I've also got the what the what's the official name? 2023-2025 in colour dots. And they are very pretty. Maybe some copper clay ones. Copper clay is not a colour, got to admit, that sort of strikes anything on me, really. Um but trio of those pretty very pretty i think one last thing is a stamp and marker now this is the old style of stamp and marker but you can do this with the new ones as well stamp and up yeah stamp and marker okay, so just a quick flick of some splatter and that is my card for today thank you so much for joining me and for joining the um poodles Poodler's uh, video hop for the new catalogue. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed it. I know that everybody has worked really, really hard on all of their projects. And I hope to see you again really soon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And hop over all the other videos in the down bar below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.